Hey guys, welcome to the Sysadmin Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can use Ansible to create root LS mirror relationships within seconds. This is based off a blog post that I've written recently, and you can find that in the link below. First up, we're going to be taking a look at System Manager, and I'm running here an ONTAP 9.6 simulator. So I'm going to be logging in as admin. As you can see, we're on the volumes page here. And if I go to the drop down menu, you can see that I've only got one SVM. It's called SVM1. And within that SVM, we've got three volumes. So two volumes of NFS and one root volume, SVM1 underscore root. Now I'm going to establish an SSH session to my ONTAP cluster. I'll log in as admin. And I'll just expand the window. And I'm simply going to type snap mirror show. So as you can see, I've got no snap mirror relationship set up. And what we'll do now is we'll head on over to Visual Studio Code. And I'm using this with the SSH plugin. So this connects through to my Ansible server, which is running CentOS. And you can see in the bottom window here, I've got the terminal window open. So I've connected to the, to the Ansible server. And then up the top left side, you can see my file structure. So I've got a NetApp folder. And then underneath that, we've got LS mirrors and I'm in the create folder. So within the create folder, I've got a few files here. And first up, let's take a look at the variables file. So the variables file, this is something that you would adjust to suit your environment. So this one's set up for, for my environment and for this demonstration purpose at the moment. But basically we've got the first part here, which is the ONTAP IP address and the credentials to connect to the cluster. Then we've got the source cluster name. We have the V server name, SVM1. And we've got the source root volume. If you remember back in System Manager, we saw that as SVM1 underscore root. And then we've got the two DP volumes that we're going to be creating. So we're going to be creating SVM1 underscore root underscore M01 for mirror one and M02 for mirror two. And these are the aggregates that we're going to be creating them on. So within here, we've got our main playbook file. So this is called SVM LS mirror setup. And if I click on that, we can see that it imports or basically runs two other smaller playbook files. So the first one is 01 create LS vols and the second one 02 create LS mirror. So if you think about the steps used to create an LS mirror manually, you would first create two DP volumes and then secondly, you would create the relationship and thirdly, you'd initialize it. Let's take a look at 01 create LS vols. Now this is the code to create the two DP volumes ready for the LS mirrors. And each one of these brackets here is a variable. And that refers back to the variables.yaml file, which then provides a value. So once again, in the blog post, I break down each bit of this code and you can read exactly what each part does. Let's take a look at O2 create LS mirror. This is the code that's going to create and initialize both the first and second LS mirror relationship. So now that we've quickly gone through the code, we're going to be running the playbook and we're going to be running this playbook here, SVM LS mirror setup. So to do that, we're going to type in Ansible dash playbook followed by this YAML file. We'll press enter and we'll let the playbook run. Okay, let's just quickly scroll up and see what the tasks were that ran. So on the first task, we've got the DP volume one creation. On the second task, we've got the DP volume two creation. And then we've got the creation of the LS mirrors. So create the first LS mirror. So it's gone through, it's uh, done the first LS mirror and it's also initialized it. But what I found was that it didn't actually initialize the second LS mirror. So when it came down to creating the LS mirror here for the second one, uh, it actually created it, but it was not in a healthy state. So what I did was I put in a pause for 20 seconds and that allowed the first LS mirror relationship to uh, do the initialization and also go into a healthy state. Then after 20 seconds, 
uh, it would perform an initialization of the second LS mirror and then it would complete the playbook. So what we'll do now is we'll head on back to our SSH session and we'll do a snap mirror show. And there we go, we've got our LS mirrors set up to root mirror volume one and root mirror volume two. And looking in the healthy column, we can see that the status is set to true, meaning that both LS mirrors are healthy. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.